Hey, it's TimeScore11, and I figured I'd make a video on this since anytime I have a LEGO minifigure that has a sword or a coat or skirt or even more commonly just any kind of not default LEGO piece hair, I go over these things that I do to make them. So I'll just show in more specifics what it is that I'm starting with. So, I've mentioned for a lot of swords that I use an old, I believe it was called Knight's Kingdom. It was a really old theme of Lego sets from like the early 2000s, I think. So, they came with these really big, rounded swords. I guess because they didn't want anyone to poke themselves with it. I mean, you can still poke yourself with it. But, anyway, so these are really useful for cutting into different shapes and pretty much necessary for making any kind of Lego greatsword. So here's just some examples of what I've made out of them. Kirito's Elucidator. For that, I cut off this, cut off most of this, then I took pliers and bent this upwards so that it's like that. And then of course cut it into the right shape there to make it thinner. And this one I don't think I've actually showed this before because I never made Kirito's original Alfheim avatar, but I made the sword for it. But the great sword that he uses in the Alfheim arc. So for this, I only cut the tip and left the rest of it the right size, then cut these halfway. Another example, Crom and Lucina's falchion. Made by cutting this smaller and then squeezing it with pliers. Oh no, actually I didn't squeeze it with pliers, I just cut it thinner. Cutting off these parts and then making it thinner for the blade. Honestly, this was a pretty sloppy job. I did it a long time ago. Corin's Yato. This one was a lot more difficult. So this first had to be very carefully cut in half and then pulled outwards so that it could be in two parts. That was the most difficult part. Cutting the blade thin, of course, thinner than most of the others that I've done, because Yato is a really thin blade. And then bending these upwards and squeezing them to be really thin. And then last example, just a generic silver sword from Fire Emblem. So those are just some examples of how I use this piece to make lots of different things. I'm sure you can probably find them somewhere online. I have tons and tons of them from sets when I was little, so I probably won't need to be buying any new ones for quite a long time. I still have like 
think five. And then the other things that I do for swords, for ones that I don't use that piece for, I use katanas. So obviously for just any katana, I barely need to do anything. Usually all I need to do is just cut this short for something that isn't quite this length, something that's supposed to be a shorter katana. Usually all I have to do is just cut it like here. But for things that are straight swords, then what I'll do is bend it like this. I'm not going to do it all the way since I don't want to use up this katana and mess it up when I'm not using it for anything. But basically, just put enough pressure on it like that to bend it completely straight. And then, usually if there's any kind of details that need to be put on, I'll use paper and tape for that such as for Kirito's Dark Repulsor here. And then for Hilt Guards, such as... I think the only time I did this was just for Asuna's Lambent Light. But I took this and cut it in half down the middle here. It took a very, very long time of carefully going over it with scissors, very thin scissors and basically using them like a chisel to run it over it between there and eventually it finally came in half and gave me the piece needed for Asuna's Lambent Light. And then as for the paper that I mentioned a lot, I won't go into detail showing exactly how I make this stuff because it's not really necessary right now, I think. But just for anyone wondering, this is the kind of paper that I use to make all the hair pieces and coats and skirts. It's a very cheap paper towel. Like you can't use good paper towel for this because that would be too thick. So it's a very thin cheap paper towel that obviously is not very good for using as paper towels but it's great for using it for this. Because regular paper would also be too hard. Good paper towel is too thick and real paper, regular like writing paper or drawing paper is too thick. And of course this isn't a whole sheet, this is just a piece I ripped off to show. So what I do with this is cut off pieces into the right shape, position them onto a minifigure first, put some tape on to keep them in the right shape, and then trim them down to the correct shape and size if needed. And then for hair, usually I do pretty much the same thing, but sometimes, depending on the type of hair that I'm making, I'll put the tape on first and then tape it onto the minifigure. Whereas if I'm making clothing pieces out of it, I won't put much tape on it so that way it keeps the texture, which is pretty much like a fabric. Pretty similar to the fabric pieces that are like official Lego fabric pieces, you know, the capes and stuff. It's pretty similar in the way that it feels. So I believe that's everything to go over with this. So, see you next time!